is me, and I am here with another Tokyo treat. <sighs> I know for you guys it's been like weeks and weeks, but for me it's been like a couple of days. There's, there's a lot of candy to go through in a couple of days. But we are almost entirely caught up, so theoretically this is July's Tokyo treat. So, technically I'm in July. You're not going to see this till like the middle of August, are you? Anyway, point is, almost caught up. So if you watched the last Tokyo treat, Tokyo, if you've watched the last Tokyo treat, then you will know that we got a beverage. This is that beverage. It is Fancy Grape Fanta. Premier Grape. Apparently. Um, I don't like grape. I never liked grape. I mean, I like green grape, but not red grape. Oh, oh, is it gonna do the. Yeah. No, I should do it in front of the black. <laughs> oh my god, it just keeps going. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I really like the... Don't judge me. <sighs> okay. It smells like nasty red wine. kind of looks like swamp water or like like puddle water <sighs> if you like grape, maybe? I don't like this. It does not look appetizing. <clears throat> it's a grape flavor that I don't like. And it's the kind of carbonation that like bites your tongue rather than like it's like a Barks root beer kind of carbonation instead of like an A&W kind of carbonation if that makes any sense anyway this month is July's box and let's get in here put it there where you can't see put it Okay, put it here where you can't see, where I'm not hitting the tripod, okay. And I will look over here where I can't see. And the first thing that on the very top is the little magazine. It tells you the theme. And that it is volume 55, July 2020. Midsummer Munchies. <clears throat> Inside this little magazine, you also get a tease of the lucky treat you might win. You're automatically entered to win the lucky treat when you subscribe. It also has interesting facts about candies in Japan and such. And a list of everything that's inside. They do not list allergens, but they do have a little blurb about what it is, so I read that and guess. <laughs> First we have a giant bag of Doritos. Ooh. Cheese Doritos. Salt, soy sauce and wasabi, or nacho cheese. These ones are nacho cheese. So 
so these are just they're Doritos, but apparently they're nacho cheese flavored. It is cheesy. It's definitely a Dorito, like textures and everything, just like a Dorito. It's kind of cheesy. It's definitely not normal Dorito cheese, but I'm also, I don't know if I would say nacho cheese. I feel like it needs to be spicier to be nacho cheese. Right now it's just like, Velveeta. So those were, I don't know. They're Doritos, so like you really can't go wrong, but I'm not, I wouldn't call that nacho cheese. Next we've got this. DIY bubble tea matcha milk. Um, it's DIY matcha milk treat that I can enjoy over, or hot or over ice. And they, ha ha, they do include directions on how to do this. You can see on the inside there's packages. I might do this in a separate episode. I was called an episode, like it's a TV show or something. I might do this in a separate video because it looks complicated and I don't want this video to be a million years long. It's already gonna be forever. <clears throat> Next. Ooh, corn cottage thingy majiggers. Corn cottage bites. They're just little corn snacks. They taste like corn pottage. I don't know what corn pottage tastes like, but if it's anything like these snacks, I would like to try it. They taste like. It tastes to me like creamed corn, but like good creamed corn. Mm. Mm. These ones have kind of like a buttery taste too. I love those, it's one of my favorite flavors. These are sweeter than some of the other ones I've had, though. Oh, this. Oh, it's a little squid thing. Japanese squid cracker. Squid-shaped cracker, it says. I guess we're going to open it up and see if it's... If I go here, do you get a better shot? Cameras are confusing. They're like, yeah, there's a thing closer and I know you want to show it off, but I'm going to focus on your face anyway. It smells like squid. And I guess this is squid shaped. Uh-huh. It's crunchy. It's dry. <clears throat> it's squiddy. I don't mind squid. Apparently I do. <laughs> um, yeah, if you like the taste of seafood, that was really good. I, f I feel like if you put that like in a clam chowder or something, I think that would work really well. Oh, this. Isn't this sad? This thing is sad. It's a cute little panda, but I don't even know it. Minty animals. 
Mighty and Minty, these cute animals contain refreshing, easy, enjoyable mints. So apparently there are mints on the inside of this. I'm going to set this aside and try it at the end because mint is very strong. Put that right there so I will probably forget. Moving on. Lots oh, of teeny tiny. Ooh! Yes, that sound I make. Strawberry da fuku. Da, yeah. I can try. It is a marshmallow, a strawberry marshmallow. <laughs> I tell the story every time I get these, but some of you were new. When I was a kid and I went trick or treating, we would sometimes get things like this. There were usually chocolate on the inside, but apparently there are a bunch of different flavors. This one's also pink. I don't know if you can see that. It's extremely light pink. Mm -hmm. This one has strawberry on the inside. And the inside is the texture of like, like heavy frosting like icing, and the outside is, it's a marshmallow, and delicious. Next are these, what are these? I'm going to guess that these are something called a mystery treat. One of a hand-selected, most requested I've had these before. I think they're called turtle crackers. Don't quote me on it. They kind of look like turtles, I think. I don't know what flavor this is, though. Yeah, see? They're like all turtly. And... I can see it. Flavor is. So I think they're like a, like a rice cracker. And I don't know what flavor this is. It's more than just salt. It's not a flavor. It's like, okay, it's savory. It's savory and a little bit sweet. It's definitely crunchy. I am at a complete loss as to what flavor that is. Delicious. The flavor is delicious. <laughs> Moving on. Are you serious? We have the tiniest little jelly. Look how tiny and cute it is. Rilakkuma, red or green? No! Apple jelly. Oh! Not only is it tiny and kind of useless, I can't even eat it. It's cute. I cannot eat it because I can't have apple. And I can't trust that it's artificial, so... That's gonna go to someone who can have it. Moving on. Okay. I hate to badmouth this company because I've been with them for so long, and I mean, by with them I just mean subscribed, but they don't know I exist. But, like, stuff like this, combined with the two Smarties that I got in the last one, and like this, I don't know if this is worth paying for DHL. Like, I... I don't know. I don't want to say mean things, but I... 
don't know if there's gonna be many more Tokyo Trade unboxings. I don't know. They just... They started off so strong a few years ago, but it's just... Let's eat this single chocolate. It is a bite-sized chocolate with a sticker on the front, I think. So... I see. So here's the sticker. Don't know what it says. I hope it says something good. And here's the chocolate. And here, there we go. Here's the chocolate. I imagine it's going to taste like most Japanese chocolate that I've tried from this box. Hmm. That's actually really smooth and creamy. That's really good. Again, it's like a medium dark. I was expecting more of like a, I don't know if anyone understands when I say this, like an Easter chocolate, but this is more like, like a Christmas chocolate. <laughs> no way to, I, that's the analogy I'm going with. Moving on. Marukawa orange gum. I didn't taste any of the gum from the last one. Are you upside down? No. I didn't taste any of the gum from the last video. I'm probably not going to try this gum either. I don't like orange necessarily. I like it better than I like the grape that we got us. I want to say last week. There was a week between. I'm not just a Tokyo Treat channel. God. <laughs> anyway, so not really gonna try the gum. I said I was gonna try the gum in the last Tokyo trade. I was like, I'll just save this till the end. But then I didn't. I completely forgot about it. And I'll probably completely forget about that too. Moving on. This. It's pretzel stick. I think it's corn flavored. Let's see. It's like if you cooked corn into a breadstick. It's not the greatest. It's not the worst. Don't care for the aftertaste. Lemon umaibo. I can read this word. Lemon. It says lemon because it says le winky face. Le winky face. <laughs> and that is the only Japanese word that I can read. Le winky face. And I know this is a umaibo because of that guy. An umaibo is a tube of corn snack. Evidently, this one is a log of corn snack. Mm. That's very lemony. Very, very citrus. 
I don't know how I feel about the citrus with the corn though. Mm. It's really good like the first bite. But then the corn and the lemon kind of fight each other. Don't like that. I'm gonna finish it, but <laughs> I don't like it. Next. Of this. No. Citrus mixed drink. Tropical drink. So this is a serious no-go. There are apples and pineapple. It looks delicious and I'm sure it tastes wonderful, but it's gonna have to go with the apple jelly to someone who can eat slash drink apples and pineapples. That's unfortunate. It's a grape gummy. Shaped like lips. Stop trying to look at my face, yo. <laughs> So it's kind of, that's, yeah, that's in there. Eesh. Okay. So here we go. What do you think? Is it cute? No? It's not a look? Okay. When you first feel it, it feels like it's gonna chew like one of those sticky hands. But it's much softer and obviously a candy. And the grape flavored, you say? Grape gummy. Hmm. I guess what I'm saying is it tastes like nothing. It tastes like nothing. But it textures nice. Moving on. This is popcorn. Salty popcorn. It is salted popcorn. I want to say it's pretty generic salted popcorn, but it's... It's like a different kind of salt. It's not like a burny salt, like... You know those microwave popcorns? The non-buttered ones? And it's like... A salt lick? That's not what this is like. This is very much popcorn and it tastes like popcorn. This is Kit Kats. Or these are Kit Kats. Kit Kat Citrus Mint. It is Citrus Mint. I'm actually going to also save that because of the mint. So. I'll just save that. 
for not for long because uh, apparently there's only one thing left. And it is Baskin Robbins Popping Shower Chocolate. I'm assuming this is chocolate with Pop Rocks in it. Oh my. Where is the pull here? Pull here. I should have held that closer to the camera. I'm so sorry. We have a tray of chocolates. Alright. It smells like vanilla. It's white and medium chocolate. kind of I like fruity you guys probably maybe you can hear it I can definitely hear it in my head popping candy but it's more like a like a crackle than like the Pop, break your teeth kind of pop rock. <laughs> those are really good. I will probably look for those in my local Asian snack center. <laughs> and that is, in fact, everything in the box. Now then, the Kit Kat. Get in half for you. <laughs> it smells very much like mint. This tastes like something. What does this taste like? Uh, I hate editing the parts where I'm trying to figure out what something tastes like. What are you? Obviously citrus and mint, but like there's a There's like a memory here. What is that? So apparently that tastes like a memory. A memory of what? Does this ever happen to you? You like eat something or smell something and it's like your brain registers that this is familiar but you can't place it? No, just me. Mental problems. Okay. That's really good. It. The citrus and the mint don't necessarily go together very well. <laughs> but neither of them were particularly overpowering. And now it's just one flavor of something. Like a body wash? <laughs> yeah, it's... I don't know at all how I feel about this. <laughs> yeah, no, not a clue. So no, these might be good. 
if you come across them, I highly recommend you try them, because I, I don't know. And now for a minty little friend here. How do I open you? My scissors, is that how I open you? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay, so there's a little sticker. And a big old pile of little mints. No way to close this again to save these little mints. So I assume you're supposed to just take a big old mouthful. I'm not going to. Tastes like toothpaste. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I wish there was a way to re reseal it. <sighs> wow. So that was mostly everything that was in. July's Tokyo Treat. As of recording this, as of putting this away, I am caught up on Tokyo Treat. I don't know when you are going to finally catch up to this video. Probably a couple of weeks at least. But hopefully just the mail system is getting back to normal ish, hopefully, in places. Anyway. So, I guess, like this if you like this, comment anything at all you want to say, subscribe for new videos once a week, and join me next time when I'm opening th that. It's either a ring light or a really big coat hanger. <laughs> Join me next week to find out. And thank you so much for watching. Bye! Why have my arms been like just up here like the whole time? I don't know. What are you even doing? Oh, okay. Uh...